I'd like to continue on with uh, one of the first songs, if not the first song I ever wrote. And I'm going to start that off with uh, a little introduction by Respighi called The Pines of Rome. Not the entire Pines, but of course, but just uh, one of the main melodies.
think, oh yeah, that's the guy that played for Frank Zappa. He's a rock pianist. But, uh, you know, I was in my 30s when I joined the group, and uh, late 30s actually, and uh, before that, I played jazz. And uh, I wrote a bunch of jazz songs and uh, had a lot of fun with that. So I'd like to play one for you. This is called Sad Young Man on a Train, <laughs> which is, I know that's a kind of a funny title, but it's the actual name of a painting by Marcel Duchamp, uh, my, one of my favorite artists of all. And, uh, and it's called Sad Young Man on a Train, but it looks just like Newt descending a staircase. Now, why he would do that, I don't know. It's something that Frank Zappa might do. Anyhow, this is a sad young man on a train.
see if I can make this stay up. Uh, he says, I'll do this job of taking care of you during this tour on one condition. You have to sing on the, you know, a couple of songs at least uh, for the people coming to, to hear you play. So I'm not a singer. Well, I have been the lead singer for a rock band for 35 years, but <laughs> even then. So uh, here's a wonderful song that Zappa wrote called The Idiot Bastard Son. <laughs> The Michigan, uh, Tommy Flanagan, Alvin Jones, played with those guys for two years, and uh, it was amazing. Taught me an awful lot. And uh, uh, Tommy Flanagan 
Well, he played with Ella Fitzgerald and Sarah Vaughan and uh, all kinds of people. And he, uh, he, ta he taught me some of the changes in this piece because some of the things were really hard to figure out. So I just thought I'd throw that in. This is called Un Poco Loco.
Anybody? Just any letter from A to G? F sharp. F sharp. Yeah. Yeah. Was that correct? F sharp? Yeah, correct. correct. Okay. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Those are the three notes we have so far. All right, just one more. Somebody up here. Just give me any letter. A minor. What is it? A minor. A minor. Yes. Yes. I didn't. You can't say minor. You have to be sharper, flatter, natural. A. Flat. All right. Let's say an A then. the first note, second note, third note, fourth note. Okay. And that is, this is going to be hard. <laughs> All right, let's try that. Thank you. 
just any letter from A to G. F sharp. F sharp. Yeah. Was that correct? F sharp? Correct. Okay. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Those are the three notes we have so far. All right, just one more. Somebody up here. Just give me any letter. A minor. What is it? A minor. A minor. I didn't. You can't say minor. You just have to be sharp or flat or natural. A. Flat. All right. Let's say an A then. the first note, second note, third note, fourth note. Okay. And that is, this is going to be hard. <laughs> All right, let's try that. Thank you. 
All right, so somebody said I had, I think it was my wife. She said, Don, you have to play the blues. I said, okay, I'll tell you what. I wrote a song called Inner Blues. Does that sound spiritual and all that? I said, I'll, I'll play Inner Blues. The, uh, unfortunately, Inner Blues is not a blues. <laughs> so I'm going to have to play Inner Blues and then I'll turn it into a blues. <laughs> yes, yes, only I can do this. <laughs>
Before I got into Mothers, I was in a band called the Creighton Preston Ensemble. And we never played in 4-4 four, four, or 3-4. Three, four. And we played in time to um, the most fun, oops, the most fun time signature we played in was 98. <laughs> so, what do you say? Well, all right, we know that 7-4 is like, one to one to one to three, one to one to one to three. Five eight is one to one to three, one to one to three, one to one to three. Nineteen eight is three bars, no, three, yeah, three bars of two. No, yes. <laughs> three bars of two, two bars of three. No, I'm all fucked up. <laughs> One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. Okay. It's two bars of three, three bars of two, a bar of one and three bars of two. And it goes like this. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, 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 So I wrote a piece in seven, and the bass line is like this, which is, uh, well, it's seven. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? And that repeats over and 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 over. <laughs> uh, I even changed keys, but it's still the same. So, and then I have to play a melody. I have to wet my hands here. And don't worry, I'm not hurting the piano. It's all totally dry. Okay. <coughs> all right, so, uh, there we go.
very wonderful soprano, Ms. Andrea Augustina. Let's hear it for us. Let's bring her up. Stop, please. <laughs> so what are you going to sing for us tonight? Tonight, hello? Tonight, I would like to sing the Carol Nome from the opera Rigoletto. Well, that sounds wonderful. <laughs> She's going to sing the Carol, what is it? Carol, Carol Nome. The Carol Nome from rigor mortis. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, well, you have beautiful gloves. <laughs> and <to hold. laughs> Okay. Would you like to know who wrote this composition? Oh, yes, tell me, please tell me who wrote Giuseppe this. Giuseppe Verdi. You mean Giuseppe Verdi? That's Joe Green to you. <laughs> uh, for any of those people that speak Italian, please pass it on to the, your neighbor. <laughs> uh, all right, so here's the introduction for that. That's how that started. You know, you think we could do something a little different? Something, something different. Yes, something different. Something, something different. different.
Firebird Suite by Igor Stravinsky.
devil guide That's why I had to set you free Doctor, don't get you down I don't love you